Hey, good evening. I'm Gary Byrne. I'm the uh, President and CEO of the Community Foundation. It's great to see you all here. I wasn't going to speak, but when our mayor came up and spoke and said about games, uh, I really don't know what he's talking about. Not mayor, uh, resident. Sorry, resident, Mr. Velasquez. My apologies. Uh, there is, there's no games here. There's been a lot of uh, accusations and other stuff going on that major developments are behind this. You've got a community foundation with a local donor who wants to build a philanthropic center to benefit the whole community. 10,000 square foot, we're going to house 8 to 12 nonprofits and have a conference space. We've got two local builders who were born and raised here who have done nothing but a phenomenal job in their building. The city of Hollister came to the Community Foundation and to the Ontario Brothers and asked us, because they knew that we were looking to build a philanthropic centre. We looked at many empty spaces, a lot of people weren't willing to uh, sell, they didn't want to sell at this time. We looked at other buildings in the community, they weren't appropriate. And the city of Hollister told us, we have to sell this land on 400 block. Would you be interested, would you be willing to put in an application? He said the application was going to go out to 40 or 50 builders, so anybody was open. So we said it would be perfect. We went to our donor and he said, yes, that would be a great spot. We don't need this whole big spot. We can't put, we, don't, we couldn't afford to put a philanthropic center with 30,000 square foot. So it was ideal, it was downtown. There's a $5 million parking garage that we said parking is there for people. Fabulous. We, the Community Foundation, want to stay downtown because we want to develop downtown. Our building is downtown. We're in our fourth office at the moment. Every single office has been downtown. We have been uh, offered space outside in the city, outside the city limits in the county to build this philanthropic centre. And our board of directors have made a decision. We want to support and enliven and vibrate the downtown by bringing people to downtown. There is a philanthropic centre in Aptos, which we have modelled this after. They've had it open for the last few years, totally very like ours, and their traffic, about seven to 8,000 people come visit the Philanthropic Centre every single year and use it for meetings. Those are people who eat downtown, who go shopping downtown, who walk downtown. You park your car once in the parking lot, there's lots of space. There's absolutely lots of space. So I think it's very disingenuous for any citizen or anyone else to say there's games or somebody's pockets being uh, uh, filled. No developer has given the Community Foundation a penny. We have not done one bit of fundraising for this. This has come out of the generosity of one donor. And we're hoping that this generosity will encourage other donors. We need a new library and a resource centre in the community. The Philanthropic Centre is going to be an absolute beacon and it's going to say, this is our community. This is something good on a vacant space that there were many, many businesses. And many of you were there when those businesses were there. We would love to have those businesses come back. And the city calls for a a, a project that is going to say this city is alive and vibrant. Other developers come downtown, build houses where people can park their car and shop and eat downtown afterwards. That's what this is about. It's not about condos. We've heard online uh, that these condos will be $750,000 for rich people. That's not the case at all. You're talking about 22 small condos, startup condos for people, young couples we hope, who can afford for the first time. This will be their first entry into a house and then they'll move out into a single dwelling outside the city. So that's what I'd say. I would also say to the commissioners, we came before you last year. You asked some of the same questions. I know there's some new people. We went through the whole density issue as well. And we were asked as a, uh, the Carter Brothers and the Community Foundation to purchase it together. We were asked to purchase it as one lot. That's where the half acre came from. That's why the 22 condos are on that. That's what we were told at the beginning by the city. And then we were told after we entered into the agreement and after we finished this hurdle there, then we do the lot line adjustment. And the Briggs Alley is not vacated. Half that goes to the Community Foundation side, half that goes to the Curtis. So it's all part of the lot. It's not like it's a public right away. And we hope that in that area, there's going to be a gathering space, a courtyard, and that's going to be a gathering space for the community. I know it's not as big as the whole open area it is now, but we hope it'll be a sign of redevelopment for our community. There are many other vacant spots like we heard already that need to be redeveloped. We asked those owners, would you be interested? We're not interested in building at the moment. We make more money by renting them out in the 4th of July rally for three or four days than we do at any other time. So I would seriously ask you to consider the proposal tonight. Make a decision, one way or the other. If you make a decision positively, like the last time, we go forward. If you don't, then we go back to City Council.
Thank you for your time. Is, are there any questions from either any of you for me? I know last time you asked me some questions. Dave? No, I just appreciate you coming and, and giving your testimony. So well, I, I, I wasn't planning on it, but I feel after the last one that somebody else should be on the other side of the coin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.